Hey guys, it's me, Shadow King here. Well, today we are gonna do a try not to cry challenge with the Undertale. So, yeah. So, let's wait for this ad. What is that? And skip it. And we start. You wanna hear a song? Huh? It's an old human song. You might know it. It goes like this. Walking in the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia La. If you still have more time, we're gonna do try not to laugh challenge. If you still have more time. Pick up your socks, Sans. But I already did pick it up. Then why is it still here? It was in another timeline. Ah, uh, brother, are you all right? Did I throw it too hard? Brother, wow. I guess you really. Sans. Sans, no! Don't you! Doctor too ah! Oh my gosh, Sans! This is no time for your stupid, annoying hey, kid. joke! Pat's just busy Last losing night. his noodle. You wanna leave a message? I can't leave a message. This, this river person... A river person? A warning, and I what river what person? Kid, you're not making any sense. What's going on? Ever since they gave me this weird warning, I felt like I'm being followed. What should I do? What warning? Brother? Who's on the phone? Beware the man who talks in pants, or something like that. What does it mean? Just stay where you are. I'm on my way, okay, kid? Huh? <laughs> kid? Sans? Who was on the phone? It's nothing, bro. Don't worry about it. I'm just, uh, gonna go walk the rock. Later, pups. <laughs> Know so 
But he's dead. He's more than dead. He's so damn dead that no one even remembers him. But you? Why? How? Sandy, <laughs> you know who I am. You know I can help you. Sorry about that, Five. You must have grown since your last physical. I'll be sure to adjust your painkiller regimen to a compensation. No. It isn't that kind of hurt. Just like that. What? 
no, 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 no. no. That's impossible. The Legend 27 has captured my hero. Mine too. Oh, you guys, I'm sure it's not that bad. You have no idea what just happened. I might have some idea. Assume you are alive, but that we hear a mere imitation of life. A construct. A failed prophet. Disappointing, but useful in its own ways, I suppose. But... If you don't mind, I'd like to focus on my work rather than your little existence crisis, Five Man Five. What are you working on? Human soul fragments I requested from the king. Your silver's more like, but they'll have to do. What do you need human soul bits for? Aren't those dangerous or something? Articulate, aren't you? Rather than wait another 200 plus years for more humans to fall in this little hellhole, I'm going to attempt the growth of an artificial soul, using these fragments as a seed. You can do that? Theoretically, yes. With the core, I discovered and created a source of an artificial magic. With you, five and five, although flawed, weak, and soulless, I created an artificial monster with an artificially enhanced intelligence and ability to learn. What's next if not this? If I succeed, maybe there's hope for us yet. Doc? I think it might be working. Doc! Not now, 5A. Gaster! What? Gaster. Those souls. That little boy and girl. They're screaming. After administering the DT extract, the soul fragments fuse together to form a small amalgamated part. The resulting soul is unstable. But after keeping it suspended in a DT solution, it has begun to grow noticeably with each passing hair. Repairing and rebuilding itself at an impressive rate. Very promising. Five Man Five, however, has begun to concern me with his unusual behaviors. While I was busy introducing DT to the soul fragments, he began speaking illogical nonsense. Hyperventilating, he had to be forcibly returned to a cell as he started screaming incoherently at me, claiming to hear children's voices and screams begging me to stop. I've never seen him act like this. He's the only one from the M5 trials that has managed to obtain most of his physical and mental capacities, remaining, for the most part, non-violent and docile. But, given recent events, I fear he has begun to deteriorate. 5 and 5 has appeared to stabilize, for now at least. But while his physical shows of no signs of deterioration, it may just be in the Dad, earliest stages of mental decay. Calm down. He asks me to not be on his constantly. Ooh, he's smoking. To know what I'm doing with it. I do my best to keep him awake on the blessed thing, as it appears to be the focus of his psychosis. No way. I can't do that. He's strong and scared. But sometimes, I find him speaking sure, in my office when I'm not looking. Speaking to it. About listening to it. <laughs> I don't know which would be worse. If he were starting to go mad from the mental and physical decay, typical of the M5, or if he were actually communicating with a twisted amalgamation of human children's souls, it's unsettling. Perhaps it is because of his nature as an empty vessel. Without the sound of his own soul interfering, perhaps he is able to hear the sounds of others. Or... Perhaps this human artifice can sense his anti-possessible form and is intentionally reaching out to him? <laughs> it's all making me paranoid. Five years was bright. Human souls are dangerous. Of course, yet, we know next to nothing about them. I can only guess and theorize. Simply grasping at straws. This isn't science. It's a game. The simplest answer would be that this is all just degeneration, typical of the M5. I've seen it more times than I care to remember. I know all too well that is what's most likely happening. Yet here I am, avoiding the truth, stalling, hiding, like some kind of frightened child. 
the early stages of degeneration. Do you remember when I said I was going to make a video on Minecraft? Yeah. I'll do it on the next episode. Sorry, guys. I really shouldn't be so surprised. I knew the kid wouldn't last, but... <sighs> it's a shame, really. I've gotten used to the little bonehead keeping me company. My co-workers warned me about getting too close, about getting attached. But, like an idiot, I didn't listen. To help him, I call money up to my customers. Okay, are you awake? Good. Come. Where are the souls? That's an unintended concern, Paul. Out, Doc. My checkup is until next week. So what? You get bored of the rats or something? <laughs> Doc! What the hell? I'm sorry. This may hurt a little, fat. <laughs> but since you've managed to develop the resistance to painkillers, there isn't much I can do about that. Doc, what the hell is that? What it is, is a gamble. But don't worry. I'm going to put an end to your pitiful, soulless existence. One way or another, we won't have to suffer anymore. The barrier will have to wait, but I'm sure Asgore will understand. What do you mean? I'm fine. There, there's nothing wrong with me. So... You aren't fine. None of you have ever been fine. Just... And hold still, would you? Still? That's it. <laughs> Don't move! Damn it! Fine! It's okay. Just let it go. Just breathe. <laughs> Is this what Doc meant? Is this what it feels like to really feel? Remember me now, don't 
Do you not? That's your sole artifice. Correct. Why? Why are you here? Why now? If you're here for the fragments you left me, please. I can't. I need to <laughs> Why does it have to be in bad times, guys? Like Sid Meier's Civilization VI lets you rule one of the great civilizations. He has to be stopped, but I can't do it alone. And neither can you. No. No. He's gone. Dead. I remember you killing him. Incorrect. We tried to kill him. You hesitated. And now, because of you, because of your lack of conviction, yet another child risks suffering our fate, Sandy. Do you know what it feels like to be missed from your body and bring people from for years to be broken, high and sick back together? To be fused with another child's mind and to be crushed, die, and die. later. Grins, by the way. Okay, that was one laugh. Thank you. 
Hey. Oh. Oh my gosh. Installing windows. To join our game, you have to eat this apple. Why? Eat the fucking apple. I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. I'm gonna buy this. Stop! Who are you? Fashion, please. Let's take off the shoes. Got it. I said shoes, not pants. Uh -huh. Aaron, what you Gay. Doing? The neighbor, she was so nice. Oh, Where do you hit the in the middle? Dumbass, motherfucker. Bruh. I don't get it. Why can't you use one? Because a condom killed my brother. Oh my god, babe. You get a little too much of a What the fuck was that? On your legs, front way, back way. You know that I don't play. Streets not safe, but I never run away. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Shit. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Junior. Come on. Hey, Junior. Come on. Are you serious, right now? Oh. Hey, Junior. Oh, what the fuck? 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 Boy. Hey. Hey. My last savage. It's French for dumbass. Yeah. You're a savage, all right. Anybody home? So take off all your clothes. Yeah. Ooh, I'm pot making.
Uh, I don't get it. Uh, so. Why is that stuff all over his face? I love roller coasters, so I'm going to take out my phone, text people. Listen time, bro. Oh my god, hey, 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 that's, hey, that's basically a good trick house. though. Did you do this, you son of a bitch?
Hey, if you don't give me that. Yes. People claim that being a vegan is expensive and inconvenient. I want to make those drones, by the way. I'd like to buy a gun, please. All right, you ever killed anyone? Yeah. How many people? Like five. All right, that's pretty low. Yeah, I got some candy and water back there. I suck your dick. If you need anything else, let me know. Um, what was that last part? Okay, um... What the heck is that? Okay, bye for now. Okay, guys. Bye for now. See you guys on... Basically... On the next episode. So... Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. See ya.